Oh. Oh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, come see now. Oi. Messi. What do you call your mother when she's bored? What? Mother bored. Oh, God. <laughs> what do computers eat when they're hungry? Stop. Chips. Ah! Today we're talking about Ryzen motherboard and chipsets. AMD's Ryzen CPUs have taken the market by storm with their amazing multi-threaded performance and relatively affordable price. That's cool and all, but when you actually try to build a Ryzen PC, you'll be confused AF. I mean, with all those chipsets out there, there's the X370, the B350, the A320, the AB300, the X3... Oh my god... Man, no. If you're looking to overclock your Ryzen CPUs, however, your only options are the X370, the B350, and the small form factor X300, which is not commonly available yet, so we're just gonna ignore it for now. ASRock has kindly provided us with these two beautiful specimens here. In one corner, we have the ASRock X370 Tai Chi in all of its black and white glory. In the other, the Challenger, the ASRock AB350 Pro 4, also black and white. Honestly, we're pretty happy to see that manufacturers have started making more color neutral motherboards. We'll be making build recommendations surrounding these two motherboards soon, so stay tuned and subscribe to our channel. Also, feel free to watch our recent Ryzen 7 review if you want to see how it compares to Intel's offerings. With the Socket AM4 platform, AMD has taken out quite a lot of functionality that is usually pre-built into chipsets and put them into their processors. So while today's video is centered around Ryzen, when AMD releases other AM4 processors such as Athlon or A-series APUs, you'll have to check them out to determine the full capacity of your system. Firstly, let's take a look at what is natively pre-built into the chipsets. Both the X370 and B350 support overclocking and crossfire while only the X370 is SLI capable. In terms of USB slots, the X370 chipsets comes with 6 USB 2.0, 6 USB 3.1 Gen 1, formerly known as USB 3.0, and 2 USB 3.1 Gen 2. It has 4 more USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports than the B350. The X370 has 6 SATA 3 and 2 SATA Express ports as opposed to 4 and 1 respectively on the B350, both supporting RAID 0, 1 and 10 arrays. Both chipsets also include one X2 NVMe slot. In terms of PCIe lanes, the X370 has 8 PCIe 2.0 lanes while the B350 has 6. Next, let's take a look at what Ryzen's packing. It has 4 USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports to both the X370 and B350. The B350 only gets 2 extra SATA 3 ports while the X370 gets 4. PCIe connectivity is where it gets confusing. Ryzen comes with a total of 20 PCIe 3.0 lanes. The first 16 can be set as a single X16 configuration or split into two X8s in the X370 while the B350 is only capable of a single X16 configuration. The remaining 4 lanes can be used for either one X4 NVMe drive or two SATA drives with two extra PCIe lanes for other devices. It should be noted that manufacturers often add or remove features on the final product, so make sure that you check your motherboard specs to pick one that fits your needs. For example, our ASRock X370 Tai Chi comes with 10 SATA 3 ports, 1 Ultra M.2 slot compatible with PCIe 3.0 X4 or SATA 3, and 1 M.2 for PCIe 2.0 X4. It has 2 PCIe 3.0 X16 slots, 1 PCIe 2.0 X16, and 2 PCIe 2.0 X1 slots. This motherboard is also equipped with Intel's Gigabit LAN, 802.11 AC Plus Wireless, and Bluetooth 4.2 but no onboard graphics. The AB350 Pro 4 on the other hand comes with 6 SATA 3 ports, 1 Ultra M.2 slot compatible with PCIe 3.0 X4, and 1 M.2 for SATA 3. It also has 2 PCIe 3.0 X16 and 4 PCIe 2.0 X1 slots, onboard graphics with HDMI, DVI, and VGA, Realtek Gigabit LAN but no wireless connectivity. That's all folks. If you enjoyed this video or if it helped you out in any way, please give us a like and subscribe as we really appreciate your support. 
Also, feel free to leave a comment down below if you have any questions regarding Ryzen or computers in general. We'll see you next time. Oh, 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 oh,